Welcome back to Lower Keys Living, everybody, and what's probably one of the most depressing videos I've ever produced. Actually, scratch that. This is the most depressing video I've ever produced. So I don't sugarcoat what we have going on down here. We're Lower Keys Living and giving you what our reality is like down here. And for the past three months, our water quality has been getting worse and worse. For those that came down during mini season, you got a taste of it. Literally got a taste of how bad the water has been with some of the worst water quality for mini season in a long time. And it's been getting progressively worse. You know, for, we'd get a few breaks in between where the water clear up and then cloud up again. But for the last 10 days, two weeks, it has just been this nasty brown water inshore. Uh, maybe a foot of visibility. I've heard some people say, oh, I like, got, got to see about two feet in front of me, but it's been nasty. So today I took the flats boat out from Cudjo Bay, went all the way out to the Gulf of Mexico through the bow channel, came back through, shot over to Sugarloaf Bay to see what the water was like in there, then out to the Atlantic, and then I shot over to the little patch waves off of Little Palm Island. Um, just because I wanted to see what Kemp Channel, Niles Channel were like, and see if I saw any clear spots. Bottom line, there was none. So right here, I am just off the KOA campground on Sugarloaf Key. It's normally great little lobstering grounds in here. Um, great spot for, get some yellowtail coming in here and mangrove fishing. This bridge, the Bow Channel Bridge, the walkway one, is usually loaded with fishermen, one of the more popular fishing bridges in the Keys. And there was nobody out here. Talked to a couple of kids that had just finished up fishing. They'd been there for an hour and didn't get a nibble. So it just seems like everything has just died in here. From here, I shot out to the Gulf of Mexico. I'm not gonna sit there and make you stare off the bow of my boat during that time. Swung back around, came back through. Now I'm heading back south under the bow channel, bow channel bridge. And you can just see how brown this water is going on out. And it just smells bad, just nothing pleasant about it. So this little mangrove area is on the east side of Sugarloaf, great lobstering and fishing along there. But again, there's just no visibility. You can't even get in the water, not even worth getting in the water out here. So just shooting on out, I can head out the channel, the, um, the bow channel through on the Atlantic side through the channel markers, cruise on out. And here you can just start to see some of this foam, and I'll talk more about this in a minute. Just these big, everything, the foam on top is just lining up. But what's it doing? This has been killing the fish. So in the last month, we've had 60 fish kills throughout the entire Keys, compared to one year ago, where there were only five. So this August, is that's our warmest water month, so 10 to when the fish kills happen. So five last year seemed like a lot. This is April of this year, there were zero. Jumping ahead when we started getting into the hotter water, here's it in May. You see it's from mid-May on, the dates are on there. We've got six up to the current month, and now there are over 60 fish kills. These are largely reported by fishing guides, boat captains who rely on the fish to make their living. Uh, they're pretty good about reporting this to uh, the Florida Wildlife Commission, and they track it. And again, I'll put a link to that site so you can see, but I went back and tracked several years of data. I never found anything close, not even 30% of what we're experiencing right down, he down here right now. So it's pretty bad. So as I'm at heading out here, that is the last channel marker heading into the Atlantic off the bow channel. I went about a mile out here in the flats boat and I kept running across these big foam lines. And I, you can see up close, you can see the foam just floating on top. Um, it just dead and debris stuff. And instead of weed lines, we're getting these nasty smelly foam lines. And between here and the, uh, in the resort and those patch reefs, uh, off of Little Palm Island. It was just past these, probably past six or seven of these foam lines between here and there. So maybe that's our nor new normal, we'll be trolling foam lines out in the Atlantic as opposed to weed lines. But I am keeping the faith up. We've got a huge tropical wave coming through this weekend, it's supposed to be super windy, lots of wind, temperatures drop a little bit over the weekend. So I'm really hoping this will flush this water out of here and we get a little bit of reprieve after this. So keep an eye on that. I will keep you posted, keep you updated on our water quality. But right now, man, do not plan on any inshore lobstering up and down the Keys. It is a mess and even fishing inshore 
it just seems to be dying off. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this didn't depress you too much, but please like and subscribe and share, and we'll see you next week, hopefully with some better news.